everyone for coming to our humble home and we enjoyed the fellowship and food and thank you for um, all your help with the food preparation too. And um, I want to share something that is meaningful to me because um, I didn't know anything about what we're going to show you, but when we moved to Arkansas, my sons and I, I. Our, I say, my son, Keith, and my health exploded. That's how I just phrase it because I don't know what else to say. Um, my skin and my health went insane. And um, at my worst, my face had swollen up twice its size. My ears were three times its size. From the head um, to my feet, um, I had blisters and boils all over my fingers, my chest, everywhere. All my skin had turned... It was just insane and I had these dark and white patches of skin and I couldn't sleep at night and I was just very sick and in the middle of my sickness there were days I couldn't even get out of bed I was very sick and then Keith started getting very sick and um, his sickness started out with migraines and throwing up and then he got strep throat and but the main thing that he's had to deal with is migraines and not just headaches here and there, but headaches, migraines, 24-7. Um, now we're going on about two years he's been dealing with these headaches. And he's still on the path of healing, but um, a, couple, a month ago he was in the hospital, but two years ago he was sicker, a lot sicker. He couldn't even get off the couch. And there were nights that I would get up and check to see if he was even alive. And I was afraid I was going to find my son dead, and I had to brace myself for that. So we've been through a lot in the last couple years, and I met Cherie. I was in a car accident, and I met Cherie at the chiropractor. And um, we came over to her house to visit or something, and... We bonded over being California girls. Yeah, we bonded over. We were both from California, <laughs> so we just started talking. And... Um, at that time, I was in the crux of um, being heavily on steroids and just lots of medication that weren't even help, helping me. And um, I came over to her house, and um, Sheree remembers this, but I was wearing mittens, and the only things showing were the tips of my fingers so I could drive and push buttons, and my, my face. I wore a hood, I wore a scarf, I covered every inch of my skin because, uh, for one, I was in so much pain I couldn't hardly move, but my body was just a rash. And Keith was suffering with a severe migraine that night, and I just mentioned we couldn't stay for long because we weren't feeling good. We had to get home, and she said, hey, you got to drink this water I have. It's helped me, and you want to try it? And I was like, we had been through several doctors, both of us, and we still were at a loss of what was wrong with us, and we had not been helped. And um, so I was like, willing to try anything. So. She gave us a jug of water, and we drank it, and that was about two years ago now, well, a year and a half ago, and, but within a week of drinking that water, our health seriously started getting better, and I had been told about this water um, before I even met Cherie, but I'm a type of person where I have to see it to believe it, so I heard a skeptic talking about it, so because she was skeptic, I was like, oh, okay, whatever. But when I tried it, and it started changing our lives, and my son started actually getting healthy, and my blisters started healing, then I became a believer. So, Sheree, <laughs> every week I'd come to her house, fill up a bunch of jugs of water, and that's how we lived off water for a year. Uh, we would not drink tap water, we would drink out of the drugs that she had given us, and um, then we bought a machine in January, I believe, of this year, mm -hmm. and and now we have fresh fresh water. The water is called Kangen, and um, this is my first demonstration about it. I'm sharing um, my with you, my friends, about it because it's changed our lives for the better, and um, I'm just passionate about helping people be healthier and be better so this is Ramona my friend Ramona and she's gonna um, show you more about the water thank you well I'd just like you a big hand up for Jacqueline for opening her home and great fellowship great food we thank you
bottom of our hearts. And we do get passionate about the water. I have a very similar story in January 2011. I was very, very sick and I worked in the healthcare field. And I too suffered skin condition all over my body. No one knew what was wrong with me, but let's give you some steroids. Let's just throw some medicine at you. Let's don't get the root. Long story short, started drinking the water. My friend Philip and Loretta Harp here, very instrumental in sharing water with me and teaching me and educating me and helping me with this business. They've been in it a long time. I'll bring them up in a little bit, tell their story. But I started drinking the water and I too started getting immediate results. Migraines were going away. My skin condition got better, then it got worse, and it get better, and then it would get worse. And um, I went to a big conference about seven months after I bought my machine and there were 4,000 people there. And the first thing people were saying when they went across the stage was they just thank God that the person cared enough about them to just be brave enough to say, hey, what if water is the one ingredient that might be missing? It's one piece of the puzzle. And I, uh, I just couldn't get over how many people could go across the stage and everybody had a different story. And I was in the restroom, I was hearing all these stories. I've been a hospice aide for 20 years. Watching people die was really starting to get to my spirit. And I was asking God for something else. And um, I didn't know it would be water. I thought I would you know, get a different job, clean houses or do something else, but I wasn't going to be an aide. So through that, drinking the water, my health improved. Now I can say that I have the, the full uh, mission statement, which is change your water, change your life, help people with their health, and show them that there is an opportunity and there can be a change in their wealth and a peace of mind. And the elixir to life is water. We have to have water. Every living thing has to have water. And I thought water was the same, and I said that to my girlfriend. I said, well, what's the deal with water? You know, isn't all water the same? She says, well, would you drink it out of the toilet? And I said, well, no. And she says, well, all water is not the same. And so very quickly, I'm going to show you, because I know you've all been patient. There's other things you want to do tonight. I'm going to show you a little demonstration what makes this water different. And I know many of you have had the opportunity to go over there and drink water from the machine. I just encourage you to drink. We have jugs here that are sterile and clean that you can take water home and share with your family. And um, I don't know if it's for you or not, but I know that we've helped a lot of people, a lot of people, and it's global. We're in 48 countries, and it's a 41-year debt-free company out of Okinawa, Japan. And Mr. Oshiro, if you ever get an opportunity to meet him, He's the size of Texas, and he's the biggest humanitarian I know. Because he cares about people. It's not money. He's not after money. He's about changing our health. When we have better health, we're going to be able to go out and help more people. And we can first and foremost help our friends and our family. And so that's what we're here tonight to do. What this water is, is it's alkaline. It's ionized and it's restructured. So what I'm going to show first is the skinny part of the water. The molecules are small because of a way of reducing oxidation um, rusting in our engines. Like if you was to cut an apple in half, it starts browning. It's oxidizing and that's what's happening in our bodies. We're born homostasis. But as we age, we go acidosis. And then chronic diseases and um, health issues start playing a, a part. Doesn't matter if they're baby, doesn't matter if they're 50 or 100, everyone sees results. We've seen babies, I've seen babies um, that were sent home to die. And you know what? They didn't die because somebody was brave enough to step to the plate and say, hey, try this water and the water was able to help the body heal itself. The water doesn't heal, doesn't cure. God's the healer. He's the cure. He's the great physician. But he designed our bodies to heal itself. We cut ourselves. We don't look to see if the, heal, if the skin heals back. We know that it will um, eventually go back together. So what I'm going to show first is the oxidation um, reduction potential. The way we can reduce aging in our bodies by just changing our water. 
I'm going to do it with this little meter. It's called an ORP, Oxidation Reduction Potential. It's just going to measure <clears throat> how aging and oxidizing this water is. If it, there's a minus that can appear on this that is showing that it's negatively charged. And otherwise it's a positive, meaning it's aging, oxidizing us. Right. This is good. Right. So we're going to start with Sprite. As a mother, as a nurse, I gave a lot of Sprite away. I gave a lot of Seven Up. I thought, well, it doesn't have caffeine in it. You know, it's good for you. It can't hurt you. And it's showing here that it's a positive of 140, 142. That's kind of low for Sprite usually. It's a lot higher. Then um, Power Aid over here. I'm going to clean my meter because it's not. It's not uh, Sprite's a 600 positive plus aging around the 550. It's kind of moving down just a little bit. Go over here to the Power Aid. Used to drink a lot of this, thinking, oh, it says it's fortified with minerals and vitamins. And knowing that we need those things, I thought that was good for my body. Not knowing that it was oxidizing and that it was aging and that it was full of fructose. Then I come over here to um, Nestle and. Look how much more positive the water is. Nestle water. It's like 324, 350. Ozarka water right here. It's like in the 300s. <clears throat> Aquafina, it's uh, the sun, uh, Pepsi Cola's number one seller. They sell more water than they sell um, soda at the 326, 328. Then uh, Rogers Municipality water, three four hundred really goes way up. See how how much more oxidizing the tap water is. Then we're gonna come over here to the Canyon water. <coughs> See the minus sign. See where the little minus is in front. Of, is there a minus? Sign? Yeah. Okay. Meaning that it can reverse aging can um, help take away the rust that's in our bodies. So I thought, well, that's all right. That's kind of cool. Then they shared with me, well, it's about the pH. When we have a fish tank or a swimming pool or a hot tub, we know that it has to have the right pH or we wouldn't get in it. We would be sick. So what we're going to see is if we can find blues and purples or even the green, which is neutral, that would help our body do what it was intended to do. Here, kind of like a little color show, isn't it? So you can see how oxidizing, how acidic the um, Sprite is, how acidic the Powerade is. Nestle water, very acidic. Um, Ozarka water, very acidic. Aquafina. Same thing. We go over here to the tap water. It's kind of got a blue, neutral, kind of greenish um, color to it. It's manipulated with chlorine and lye and fluorides and fluoramines and all the pharmaceutical drugs that the United States of America takes. And there are tons of pharmaceutical drugs in our water. Why we see all kinds of hormonal imbalances. There's so many women taking hormone drugs, and even the men are affected by that, too. Uh, then, as a hospice aide, we used to put all the, all the pharmaceuticals down the toilet. We no longer do that anymore. We're not supposed to do that, but there's some that still do. A lot of older people think, oh, this medicine's old. I'll just throw it in the toilet. So we're just adding to the uh, circulation of the bad water. Then you see Kangen water turns purple. So some people say, well, if I just wanted to drink a little bit of Kangen water, would it straighten up? Would, could it help me? 
I don't know that answer. I know that personally, the people that I've given the water to all get a story. What their story is, is different because we're all unique and we're made by a Heavenly Father and He desires the best for us. So by changing our water, we can change the alkalinity in our bodies with not very much water. This is just clear water, you can see. So you can see. Wow, I've never seen Nestle not change. No, yeah, that's, that's because that's... this plastic, if you pick up a bottle that's like this, this is digoxins. And for women, this is how women are getting breast cancer right here. This water is bottled two to three years, and it sits in a storeroom. Plastic. Plastic and heat. heat, hot, cold, no regulation. I'll try, but I know that I can't move either one of these. Um, it would take 32 glasses of Kangen water just to neutralize this one glass of Sprite. So when he says, okay, well, I started drinking the water. I'm feeling really good, but maybe I'll just try just a little bit of Sprite. Okay. Well, Sprite's very acidic, and you can see it won't take much Sprite to start changing the colors and start changing the pH and now we're right back to where we were, we're back into an acidic state. So what I have seen, what I have found, what I've discovered, what I've shared with Jacqueline and Cherie and what was shared with me by Philip and Loretta was water can make a big difference in your body and the right kind of water is really important and we share the water free I have plenty of jugs in the lead with Jacqueline. If you're interested and you'd like to see if the water is good, make a difference for you, we'd encourage you to just ask her for the water. It may or may not be for you. I don't know. But she, like I, Cherie, Philip, Loretta, my husband, we all have our story and we're passionate about sharing this and it shouldn't be hidden. It shouldn't be um, kept away from the public. People need to know that water can make a difference. I've seen third and fourth stage cancer reversed and people have to go look for a place to live instead of planning their funeral. Um, children getting a whole new life. I'm sharing with the, my granddaughter's little um, friend since second grade. He's battling a really mean cancer. And he had a fundraiser today and parents came up to me and they were like, we're just so grateful that you put that machine in our home. Josh is doing really good, and Children's Hospital said, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. They didn't ask what we're doing, they just said keep doing it. So that we'll take that, because a lot of times they're just, they're very against doing anything outside of what they have been taught to teach. So, um, this is just one of the things this machine does. It makes good drinking water. It also makes two levels of water that clean and sanitize our home clean the pesticide and herbicides off our fruits and vegetables, replace every chemical in your home so you're not. That little machine over there is a medical device in Japan. It's not a medical device here. It would be regulated by the U.S. government and you know, our government sometimes it isn't always out for our best interest. I, I have to give you a whole other subject on you know, how we're being poisoned by our food. And by the way, thank you, Jacqueline. It was all organic food that she prepared today, all organic meat, and I think that that just makes a huge difference in what we put in. Our body is a temple, and, and we have to give it the best. We have to think the best thoughts and do the best. But what I want to show you next is just a little demonstration on how effective this cleaning and disinfectant water is. I've now replaced all my cleaning supplies. I don't use shampoo on my hair. Um, just, it's amazing. We've learned that oil and water don't mix. So there's regular old tap water here. Try to make the water mix and it doesn't mix. Kind of something we learned a long time ago. If I take the 11.5 water is high alkaline. It's a high pH. And don't blink. 
but it can emulsify the oil. That's how it, how it works in our laundry. So if you put a quart, depending on what kind of clothes you're washing. My husband's clothes take a lot more water, a lot more of this special water than my clothes. If I'm just wearing, washing the clothes that I have on today, I put about a quart of this water in my washing machine and turn my washing machine on. Um, his laundry, sometimes it's, he's a carpenter, so I had to put you know, half a gallon to a, a three-fourths of a gallon on there. The other big thing that caught my eye was how I could remove the pesticides and the herbicides off of my fruits and vegetables. And by the way, everything that was served today was washed in these waters, including the meat. It was all washed in a 2.5 water and we could um, share that. Don't sniff it real hard but you can get a little idea of how medicinal the water could be. That, that's 2.5. 2.5, uh-huh. Yes, kind of smells like bleach, don't yeah. it? So, um, for MRSA, staph, E. coli, wounds, pink eye, foot, foot fungus, gangrene, oh my gosh, bee just stings. bee stings, yes, thank you, Jean. Um, bee stings, wasp stings, um, brown recluses, amazing, amazing, amazing testimonies on how this water was able to um, straighten people issues up and they didn't have to go to the doctor. So what I'm going to use on here is the high alkaline bad tomato. I mean like Philip now, he works in the grocery business and he spots them bad tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put some 11.5 on here, the high alkaline uh, disinfectant water. It works great in cleaning carpet, great in cleaning our laundry. Um, oh my gosh. We washed our whole house, <laughs> just painted our house, and um, used it on the windows on the outside that hadn't been washed in like two and a half years, and then followed it up with beauty water, and it was just amazing to me how, um, how good it cleaned. No toxic chemicals, no more Windex. Um, would you spray this on one, one of their hands? Let me spray one hand and don't spray the other. This is the beauty water. This is the pH of six. This is the, the pH of our skin. And spray it real good, Jacqueline. Give it a real good, just let it kind of air dry. And then you, you will notice in just a little bit as it dries. See, it takes it and notice how the other hand looks or feels. And what's in it? Nothing. Nothing. It's just beauty water. It's called beauty water. It comes off of the machine. And it uh, just, because it's Japanese water, because it's small water, it has a way of penetrating externally, but when we drink it, it penetrates internally and hydrates us on a different level. Um, so here, what I'm going to show. I put it on um, before I put my makeup on. It just seems to look better and feel better. Let's just show. You don't, you don't think that it uh, could be that big of a deal, but when you see it and when you start drinking it, it's just absolutely mind-boggling. Um, the difference in the taste, the difference in the way that it cooks, the water way when you make rice or noodles or potatoes, soups, oh, it, it's just crazy to think that water could make that taste different. I don't know what that is. Is the guy in the green shirt still here? I know we all want to do other things, so I'm not going to hold you up. just want to show you the pesticides, because when you really see it and you taste it is where you go, wow, okay, maybe that is some special water. And Jacqueline, if you will get that, if you'll pass these around. 
Have them try the tap water the, washed. Uh huh. The tap water and then the clean. And here is the difference. So tap water and then the. Can you see the pesticides? She doesn't like tomatoes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people don't like the tomatoes. This is tap water. The white, uh, the chart. Oh, the chart. The back of the chart. Mm, I don't have one of those charts. Not in there that's standing up with the. Oh, no. Is that your book? Oh, no, never mind. Yeah, I do have one. Good call. So Thank you. Now you can see the difference. Can you see the difference in the pesticides? <laughs> He's scared. I can't eat tomatoes. He's <laughs> Which one's tap water? This one's tap water. And this one is um, the canyon.